We're building the Children's Mercy Research Institute here in Kansas City to help us find answers to those diseases which affect children. Children's research is very badly funded throughout the U.S. And so with help from donors like yourselves, we we're able to do that research here in Kansas City. A unique thing of the Research Institute is how it's strategically positioned on the campus here at Children's Mercy. We're able to provide translational research from the bench to bedside and back again. One of the driving forces behind the Research Institute is collaboration in all things research. So we wanted to make sure that the design of the building reflected that tenant held true by Dr. Curran and Dr. Pemberton. So as you look through the building, you'll notice clear views through the glass, through the labs, science on display, and open spaces for researchers to meet and talk and discuss. We're on the second floor of the Research Institute, and this is the dry lab floor. The hardcore, analytical, computational work is happening on the dry lab space. It's an opportunity to understand population health and really dissect that data. We're now on the third floor in what is going to be the new Genome Center. So as you probably know, the Children's Mercy Genome Center is nationally recognized and actually internationally known. So one of the new projects that we've got going is Genomic Answers for Kids. And with that, we're gonna be able to sequence 30,000 genomes of kids who come to Children's Mercy Hospital with some sort of genetic anomaly that we can assess. And then we'll also be sequencing all of their parents and their siblings to generate a database of 100,000 genomes. We're going to help kids like Caden and Ty. They had a super rare disease and no one could figure out what it was. Helping families like that is what the Genomic Answers for Kids program is all about. What we will achieve uh, through this program is much shorter time to diagnosis for families that have often waited for years. And that's really the key aim of our program. What it says about the hospital and about people that are donating to the gene study it says that they care about every single human life, that it doesn't have to affect hundreds of thousands of people or even thousands of people. It, if it just affects one person, they care. This is the Precision Therapeutics Program. This is where the Goldilocks Program will be run out of, which is run by Dr. Steve Leader and Dr. Sue Raman. So the Goldilocks Program is a program which looks at not, not too much drug, not too little drug, just the right dose of drug for each individual patient. One example of the work that we do in Precision Therapeutics is what Dr. Leader and Dr. Raman are doing, working on a decision support tool to provide point of care precision medicine dosing for kids. My dream is to have these resources available to any clinician for whom prescribing medications is part of what they do. And what we need to do is have the capability to rapidly develop these tools so we can accelerate the pace at which they make it to the bedside. So we're up on the fourth floor, and this is the GMP, which stands for Good Manufacturing Process. This is an area where we actually do a lot of human tissue cell culture. Uh, at the moment, we have to send our T cells down to the Baylor School of Medicine in Houston to get those cells grown up for the CAR T cell therapy, which we actually do here at Children's Mercy. Doug Myers is our oncologist who does that work. And now, once this facility opens, he'll be able to come up two floors, walk into this room, and grow those cells up right here in Kansas City. We're still here on the fourth floor of the new building. We're stood outside the Biological Safety Level 3, BSL-3 facility. So BSL-3 are for organisms that actually are pretty dangerous to humans. We don't actually have any BSL-3 organisms on site, but for example, COVID-19 would be a BSL-3 organism. So we have some folks doing some COVID-19 research at the moment, but once this building is open, they'll actually be able to use this facility for that work. Thank you for your commitment to the kids and for everything you've done to help us with this facility. Thank you for making this dream a reality for so many people and for all the pediatric patients to be benefited from this building. We look forward to seeing you in the spring and introducing you to the finished Children's Mercy Research Institute.